Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from IsraelAutomation.com and today in this video I'll be talking about Playwright MCP Server's all new API testing support. If you remember a couple of weeks before I have been talking about this model context protocol of Claude Anthropic which has got the feature to talk to your local context which is nothing but your local application or your local browser which can perform the operation that you are looking for and once again if you really not heard about the mcp server mcp stands for model context protocol which is an open source standard to help ai assistant to work more effectively by connecting them to the system and tools where relevant data reside that is what we have discussed already and I also told that MCP server can actually interact with multiple different uh, systems within your own machine or it can be uh, some other systems like Slack or uh, Google Drive or even Puppeteer. And I also told that I built my own Playwright MCP server which is going to be something helpful for you to perform the automation testing just something but the UI automation testing something like this we already discussed about it and also we saw a demo like how it can perform the operation like uh, entering the username and password clicking the the link and also performing the operation on the UI like how you are seeing over here so those things we already discussed and how it is all working fine uh, on the last video and also a couple of uh, other demonstration I have discussed about it. But today in this video, I'm going to talk about the all new feature that I have released the support of Playwright MCP server, which is nothing but the API testing as you can see over here. So basically now you can tell the model context protocol of the Playwright MCP server to just perform the API testing operation by the plain English text and it is going to do all the operation that you are looking for. So we are going to see a demonstration of how we can achieve this in this particular video. So once again, the Playwright MCP server is already released. So you can just go ahead and add the reference or add the MCP server in your cloud desktop client. And you should see the functionality which is going to work in my machine. It's going to work in your machine as well. But before I'm going to go deep into that, I'm going to quickly show you a demonstration of how this entire operation really works. So now if you just go and open the cloud desktop client, something like this, you should see that you're going to have the uh, MCP server for the Playwright MCP server. So any Playwright MCP server beyond 0.2.4 should have this particular feature, the API testing feature, which I'm talking about. So all I'm going to do right now is I'm going to be doing a quick API test. And for doing that, I'm going to give some command to the uh, cloud desktop client to tell that this is what I really wanted to automate. So the command which I'm going to be giving this time is going to be this. I'm going to say uh, perform a post operation for the URL, which is this one with the body uh, of this body and verify the response has the created at and ID property. So this is the thing which I'm really going to give to the cloud desktop as an input right now. So if you just go to the website over here, you will see that this ready to use uh, RESTful API is like a website which has got some APIs that you can use for testing operation. So they have hosted it uh, on this particular URL. So you can just see how this really works. So I'm going to use the same exact URL to perform the operation, which I'm going to be showing to you right now. See that this is the URL and you see that there is a command that they have given for the post. You can supply this particular body and it will give you the response, something like this. So only if you have the create created at property in this particular response, you can ensure that this is working fine or not. That's the reason why I told that and verify the response has created at and ID property because you see that I'm not really supplying these two properties as a body input. So now if I try to send this command over there, you'll notice that now the uh, the MCP server of the playwright is going to kick in and you see that we have got a new playwright underscore post tool which is going to perform this operation for me. So now if I just say allow this chat, you'll notice that it is going to perform the operation for me. And now it is going to verify the response, whether it has the ID and created at property and looks like it has. And that's the reason why it is telling me that see that this is the property like ID and there is a created at property as well. So it is matching like what it is looking for. And you also notice that I have also added for this particular request that you are passing in that this is the request body that you are sending in you will also have got a content which is going to be the response content so you see that this is the actual response coming in uh, from the particular api that we have got 
which is great. So now we also have got the response text over here and I have also added the response status code over here. So you can now verify if there is a response status code of 200 or 404 or 500, something like that. So all of these you can verify uh, with this particular uh, API over here. That is that is pretty cool. So that is what I have uh, did it over here. And that's exactly what we are gonna be seeing this particular demonstration. But I'm gonna add even more workflow uh, for the API test. Because for instance, if you're gonna be doing a post operation and if you want to do a put operation or maybe a patch operation like update or partial update operation, then you need to do it on a specific ID, for instance, a specific uh, object ID or specific product ID over here. So if you want to do that, you need to store that particular ID uh, and then you need to pass it as an input to the put operation so that it can perform the, uh, the, uh, the updation on that particular uh, object or that particular uh, item that you are trying to update. That's exactly like a workflow that we wanted to do. Now I'm gonna do the, every single thing right now using the plain English text. I will show you how everything can be done. Well, as that said, I'm gonna quickly show you how we classically do the uh, testing, right? Mostly for API testing, what we do is like, we're gonna open uh, the Postman over here and then we go to the, uh, uh, to uh, let's say for the get operation, uh, we're gonna copy this particular URL and then we go to the postman like that and we hit the send. It is gonna give us all the uh, responses of that particular API in a JSON format, right? And now let's say if I want to get any of the uh, any of the uh, the object by performing a post operation, for instance. So let's say I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna create a new product. So I'm gonna copy this. And in the body, uh, let's say I'm gonna pass it as a JSON format over there. And if I try to send it right now, you see that it is gonna create a new product for me. You see that the ID is pretty much like what the response we got from the cloud desktop client. And also has got the uh, created at property along with the data that we have supplied. So that is how the creation actually works. And if I want to do a put operation, so all I have to do it is see that I have to do a put operation for this particular ID that I have got. So what I'm gonna do is like, I'm gonna do a put and see that I have to pass this ID over here. So I'm gonna say slash this particular ID, which I want to update. Uh, and the, 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 the thing that I need to update is really, uh, let's say I wanted to update what they have said over here, like how I'm gonna be updating. So instead of the uh, Intel Core i9, I'm gonna say M4, or M3 uh, processor uh, and the year gonna be 2024 or something like that. So if I do a send over here, you'll notice that it is gonna do an updation for me over here. That is the put operation that we do. So that is the testing that we always do, right? Like we have to do it in the postman or maybe we create a workflow for doing all these operations and stuff. And similarly, we do the patch and delete operation, but we definitely need to supply this ID. If not, we can't see what updation is really happening for our specific uh, object or specific product that we're talking about. So, well, in all these things, because if I want to do all these operation uh, in Postman, I have to do like one by one every single time. So instead of doing that, and if I want to really do an API test all with plain English text instead of doing it uh, like an Postman or maybe uh, in an automated uh, REST API tool uh, like uh, REST Assured or REST Sharp, I can use this Playwrights based uh, API testing feature in Cloud Anthropic. So the scenario that I have already written for that matter, I'm gonna just copy paste so that we don't really have to type that every single time. So this is my scenario over here. All I'm saying here is that I'm gonna say, perform a post operation for this particular URL with this particular body and verify if the response has created at an ID property and store the ID in a variable for the future reference, say a variable product ID. So I'm gonna pretty much tell like an end user uh, or maybe a manual test engineer, like how I need to perform the next subsequent operation or how I wanted to carry forward this operation. So I'm gonna store the ID in a product ID variable. And now I'm gonna say, perform a get operation for the created product ID over here and verify if the response has the property like ID and name. So I'm not really verifying if it has got the uh, the value uh, of the name as Apple MacBook Pro or something like that. I'm just 
plainly telling this is what I wanted to verify. And then I'm going to say, I want to perform a put operation. This is going to be the updation operation. And I'm going to tell that this is the product ID that I'm passing in. So this product ID with this particular body. So you see that I have now updated from the CPU from M4 to M5. Uh, and also I'm changing the year to 2025 and the price is this and the color is titanium. So I'm updating quite a lot of things over there. So I'm verifying if the response has got created at uh, an ID property. And even if I want to verify if it has got uh, the year as 2025, it can do that as well for me. So you can do all these changes are verified just by using the plain English text. You can do that. And similarly, you can perform the patch operation. I have told that just go and update the the name from Apple MacBook uh, Pro uh, 19 to limited edition. Uh, and then finally, I'm going to say verify uh, verify that it, it has got the value as the Apple MacBook Pro 19 limited edition. And that's what I'm trying to uh, verify. So I'm just going to verify if it has got an updated at property and, uh, and a value maybe. And, uh, and, name property with value as this one, right? That's what I really want to verify. So now with all these plain English text, if I hit enter, if I send it, you will notice that now all these operations are gonna be happening for me with the with the tool just specified inside the uh, MCP server, you see that now it tells me that this response contains see there is a tick mark there. So all these testing are getting passed for me. So the post operation is successful, the get operation is successful, the put operation is successful, and the patch operation is currently executing and it's also successful. So notice that all these tests are now running on an actual API, not like like a like an API which you don't really have access to. Now this API is accessible by our cloud anthropic and it creates thing for me over here look at that that's the get operation for me and that's the put operation we already saw this uh, and this is the patch operation so you see that that's the patch for me over there it has got all the details which is great and it has like verified every single thing instantly for me so all you have to do right now is install this playwright mcp server uh, in your uh, in your actual cloud, you know how to do that. We we already discussed about it. Just go and edit the configuration and do it. And once you add it, you will now see everything is being done over here. That's all, guys. This is how we can perform API testing using Playwright MCP server, which has got the API testing feature, but everything is running under the hood with the Playwright. So Playwright is the one which is driving all these API tests for us, and everything is just works fine. So now this has got so many other open questions as well. You can ask like, Karthik, how about if I wanted to pass an image and if I want to verify that? And how about I want to do with the multi-form uh, input? And what if I want to do with the even more complex binary data? How I can do that? Well, this library is set to extend with all these capabilities pretty soon. But for now, we have got the basic operation to perform the API testing and hope you have got the idea like how everything works. So once again, Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to use the Playwright MCP server in your cloud desktop. You can get all this feature without even a single penny. Thank you so much for watching this video. Catch you in the next one.